Hello, welcome to the Matthew Alton Art channel again. Um, I'm going to try to do um, a landscape today. Um, it's something I don't do very much of and of course I'm going away or planning to go away up to Ulverston in a couple of weeks time and I'm going to do some outdoor sketching so I thought I should try and get a bit used to doing landscapes really. I took a photograph um, looking across the Staffordshire countryside on a walk that I started last weekend, um, National Forest Way with a friend and it's just sort of a a distant hill view, lots of clouds in the sky, not very much in the foreground really. I'm sort of wanting to do a gouache study, very loose, very quick and loose. Um, it's not going to be perfectly accurate representation of the photograph or anything. I just want it to have the feel of the day. Um, first step is I'm going to actually draw out roughly with a, a watercolour pencil so that the, the actual lines dissolve because I'm planning to do it quite f um, weak colours so it's quite faded and I don't want the lines to show through in things like the clouds so I'm hoping the watercolour pencil will sort of dissolve a little bit in the water I'm not going to do dark lines anyway so it shouldn't alter the colour too much so I'm just going to draw out the where the main um, objects are most of it's very distant trees so I'm going to try and do it very impressionistically and give the impression of trees di disappearing into the, the distance using aerial perspective and, and whatever Ma majority of the paint is really clouds again something that I'm not particularly practiced that's certainly not with gouache so let's see how it goes <laughs> Well, that's the drawing done. I've put the position of clouds in um, just so that I can sort of paint around them to leave white, white. Put the position of the main trees in the foreground and middle ground in. Um, I'm using the Arteza gouache paints that I've used before on the channel. Um, if you'd like to buy those, I'll put a link in the, the description of the video. Okay, very fast and loose. Let's see how we get on. Starting here by just wetting the the, the paper to get the softer edges. Um, using mainly ultramarine blue here. Just taking some of the, the color off with a tissue. Um, I'm putting now some of the shadows on the clouds using a mixture of raw umber and a little bit of crimson or red in there. Obviously the first thing to say is the, the sky isn't gradated enough so if you look at the sky it's very blue but if you look up above or nearer to you and it tends to get greener and paler near the horizon or yellower depending on the weather conditions and I've got quite a flat wash here. I'm now putting in the very distant high ground of actually Canic Chase in the distance. And then a large clump of very, very large trees that they look like they shouldn't be that large because they're in the, the sort of middle ground, those large trees. But I think there's something like black poplar, which are massive trees compared to the other trees around them a bit of variation in the Canuck Chase hills there just to give the impression that there's fields and trees and in the distance. The yellow of the fields gives some variation. Um, very blue trees in the background and the shadows are quite blue. Putting some shadows in from the nearer trees now. I 
just a very quick wash for the foreground obviously I probably should have spent a little more time and put some detail in the foreground because let's face it you should see the most detail in the foreground in a painting really or at least the impression of detail uh, and I'm just doing very loose washes in the foreground now I'm just finally putting on a few sort of lighter greeny yellow highlights on the nearer trees and some bluer shadows under the, the trees in the foreground this is the final painting um, and overall I'm quite pleased with it obviously I've pointed out some of the issues with it um, so far it was always going to be a very quick sketch and this sketch took 25 minutes including the, the drawing so really really quick and it's the sort of speed that I'll need to be painting outdoors um, because the light changes so quickly obviously the sky the clouds look like clumps of cotton wool there's no there's no um, wispiness to them really but that's something I can improve over time the the impression of distance where it's quite well although it's probably the, the the hills in the distance are probably quite dark to be fair um I should have lightened them up and that would have gone in conjunction with lightening the sky in the distance as well obviously we've got lollipop trees as well um but Considering it's so quick, it does give the overall impression of the view that I was trying to, to capture. And it's the sort of way that I'm going to have to capture landscapes on plein air, really. Um, so not a perfect painting by all means, certainly not a, a finished work, but a very quick thumbnail sketch of the view that was presented to me on the walk that I did. Okay, I hope that you've enjoyed this. It's not, it's, I suppose some people would call this a failure, really. It's not, it's not a finished painting at the end of this video. And maybe a lot of people wouldn't put videos on YouTube of, of paintings that, you know, aren't perfect when they're finished. But as I've always said, this channel is about learning together. And I think doing this 25 minute sketch has taught me an awful lot about how I need to work quickly. And I can see things that are wrong with it, which hopefully I'll be able to improve on in the next one. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, do subscribe to the channel. Do like the video. That will help the channel grow. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.